Now then, it is time to begin. Almost all my pawns are set. The battlefield is prepared. Hate is spreading amongst former allies. Bloodshed is close at hand. First, Devrup, Grand Master of the Kage. Next, Agni, Leader of the Huo Young Mercenaries, said to be in control of a powerful element of fire. And although I am missing most of their information, I know that the Empress has issued someone by the name of Ten Shi, the Guardian Angel, to be the commander of the Shi Wong. Seems I have another file. And who are you? Kuno Jiu Wong. That's quite a unique name. But your information is most intriguing. And you? Hikri. A hybrid? There are not many like you. Such powerful beings. And said to be the co-commanders of the Shiwong. Must be from another land, and were sent to aid the Shiwong by the Empress's request. No matter. It won't change anything. What I'm truly interested in are these newer faces. Ones that are full of potential. Now, th without further ado, let's look at our first candidate. Goes by the name of Tessera, a halfling, a talented swordsman by the looks of it. You seem to have hate for certain beings. Let's look deeper into your story and see why exactly? Growing up in a sheltered environment, not knowing the brutality of war, but trained in the way of the sword by her human father from a young age. Her mother, on the other hand, was a mystic, wanting to teach her more about the ways of magic, but died of natural causes before she could properly pass on her knowledge to the young girl, seven at the time. Tessera grew up learning to express herself as more human like her father, and so her upbringing was prominently of human doctrine, just like her father wanted. However, on one dark day, her village was attacked by a raiding party of Kaijuma and mystics looking for revenge against the humans who subjugated them. She and her father took up arms against the raiders, cutting them down as they approached. However, one of the Kaijuma managed to strike a lethal blow, lunging at her father. Tessera could see the rage in his eyes, the pure hatred for humans who thought lesser of he and his kind. And then she saw it. Her father, dripping with blood, standing motionless, his eyes wide and face pale while the Kaijuma grinned with a sadistic pleasure, knowing what in front of him was a human, dying and bleeding. The weary man collapsed, not before dropping his sword as his foe removed his own blade from his stomach. Tessera calling to him, crying, screaming, sprinted towards the two in a whirlwind of fury and anguish as she cut down her father's killer in two. With the eyes of pure despair, she looked back at her father, lying next to his fallen sword. She did not previously hold any ill will towards the other races, partly because she herself was a half-breed, but more than that. She had no need to due to her sheltered life without any interaction outside her village. But now she knew the truth in her father's words of how evil the other races were, how they were nothing but bloodthirsty mongrels that should be put down like the filth they are. She saw it for herself firsthand. Her own father cut by one of them. She picked up her father's sword, still holding her own and uttered the words. I swear. Oh my, truly. This is why you seek to be with the Shi Wong, is it not? 
you wish to cut down these bloodthirsty mongrels that lie with the Huo Young. How interesting. Better yet, how amusing. But now, let's see how you look in action. What is up, Warriors of Jigoku? Welcome to Fan Lore Fridays. So, this was an idea that was brought up to me by Run with the Arcane, so big shout out to him. He was the one who uh, gave us the very first character that we just witnessed, Tessera. And uh, so I decided to make this into an actual non-canon kind of story. So within the, I guess, week and a half or two weeks that I actually, when I, since I got the idea and was encouraged to do it, I uh, put some thought into it and I actually decided to put this into a little bit of a story. So this may seem a little bit of a kind of, like, this kind of age, but also futuristic kind of age from what you see. But I can, that can all be explained very much later on in the story. So I don't want to spoil anything yet. So uh, just bear with me on that. I feel it's a really cool way to show off, uh, to introduce the characters. And if your character does have a backstory, which was 100% optional, then, um, okay. Then I think that's a cool way of showing it. It shows the information of the character, like their age, their species, race, and then, um, We discuss like what makes them the way they are and everything based on what you guys tell me. So I have to say this is something really cool. The, the idea itself is a really cool idea. I'm getting my ass whooped right now. Oh, that's right. He does a really quick one. Jesus Christ, dude. We're getting hit by everything. So yeah, obviously, so the first one that was shown was the very first character that was uh, given to me. That was entrusted to me. And that was Tessera. So that was the very first one that we were going to be showing off. So I did a little bit over the top kind of like introduction and crappy voice acting there. So uh, beware of the cringe for that. But oh boy. I have to say though, this was something really, really cool to do. And I actually am enjoying getting into a character and doing it. And then uh, showing off the characters that you guys made and put thought into so it's really cool i gotta say real quick once again that i do appreciate all of you guys who have uh entrusted me with your characters and been able to put this in a series this was something i kind of wanted to do when i first started getting this playing this game i was like you know what if i ever do like more youtube and get more involved and get a bigger community this is definitely something i really want to uh do with people especially as a thank you if uh we get to a decent point and we have definitely been getting to a decent point because you guys have been killing the like goal, the like button, the uh, the sub button, everything. I mean, commenting and and in live streams and everything. Live streaming was really good too. Like you guys have just been amazing during all of it. So it's really cool to be able to uh, be able to do cool things like this with you guys. So I gotta say one thank you because this is something I've really been wanting to do with you guys for a while. So that's really cool. But oh, we're about to lose the main camp. Not on my watch. Also, if Tessera seems too fast, don't worry. It's because I uh, put a, some uh, some items on her to make her run faster. I do that for everyone. Speed is my biggest concern in this game. But I have to say, this has just been really cool to do so far. And I'm really looking forward to doing the next character. So I'm going to do the next character from this person who, uh, Kendall. I'm going to do, be doing his character next. Um, Liu Sun. So I'm going to be doing Liu Sung next because, like I said, they are the very first two people who gave me their characters and trusted them to me. So I got to show that respect and give make them the very first two. So I'll try to show off every move that Tessera has and everything. So I'm hitting air. So if I make them look like crap in terms of my shit gameplay, just know that they're still cool characters. And I guess I will also do, if you guys are curious, probably at the end, annotation perhaps, I will put um, Hikaru's backstory and Kuno's backstories in there as well so you guys can check out them, them and get more familiar with them if you have not already. Hikari for most, I feel, will be because Hikari was probably the catal... Guang and Hikari are pretty much the catalyst to this because this is where the uh, idea came from. When I did Guang's video, that's where the idea... Uh, came in the uh from realm of the arcane he came, ended up 
sharing the idea during, I believe it was Guang or Hikari's video. And so, I guess if it wasn't for Guang and Hikari, oh damn, my Ami is not looking too good. But don't worry, we got the heals. So yeah, also, cool little thing. You'll also be able to see your guys' characters in here as well. Because uh, I'm going to try to stick with the theme. So I need to make a bigger army for... What's their face? Uh, for Agni and Devroop. It's not... So far, we're getting there. And I have to put in the other peoples first. But uh, I've been trying to like keep up with all this stuff. And it's been crazy. And I have Ember's backstory to do as well. So, like I said, it's been really crazy. So, we're going to try to try to keep the group going. So, what I might do... Once I'm done with Embers, I'll take another short break with uh, backstories for my characters and then put more time into your guys' characters as well for Fan Lore Fridays. Because I like, I really actually do want to keep this as a uh, weekly thing. Before we get into the main, the main gist of it. Ow. I don't think we did an Aerial Muso yet, so we'll do that after we get this base and go take out an officer or something. So, uh, so far, gotta say, Tessera, pretty damn good character. Pretty cool. I have to say, Run with the Arcane, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. And then, like I said, I'll do Kendall's next, which is Liu Song. You've seen him. I'm pretty sure he, he's uh, marching with me here from the south. And then, I'll I'll leave this up to you guys. Which, let me know in the comments. I won't put it to a full or anything. I'll just mentioned it in the comments. Do you guys want me to do it in order of, like, from what you guys, like... So, after Liu Song would, I think, would be Kana, which is Harna's character. A.K.A. my, uh, my part-time editor. So, should I do it in order of when I get the characters, or should I just randomize it? That way, someone who did it really late can, uh, have a chance to maybe shown, be shown off earlier. Or should I just do it in order just to be fair? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. And I'll go by the vast majority of uh, if you guys say I should do just put up, do them in order of when I get them. Or just do it randomly. I forgot how fun these swords actually are. So this is what I'll be doing. So I'll be doing the... Because uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty fixated on doing it right now. So what we'll do is... Um, we will have me doing the uh, the cringy voice acting and then trying to do like a story for this whole thing and doing the introductions the way you saw earlier in the video. And then we'll get to actual gameplay. Pretty much like I do with my backstories. Except you guys get way more cooler way, uh, way of being introduced than I introduce my characters. <laughs> I'm also thinking about possibly putting in one more of my characters. Obviously they won't be the main focus because this is Fan Lore Friday. And so this is up. This is this is your guys' spotlight. This is going to be your guys' spotlight. I've introduced pretty much the main factions already, and I will obviously go in more detail on the Empress and Tenshi, and uh, yeah, the guy, other guy Tenshi. On other days, of course, it will be fan uh, fan lore Friday related, but I'll do it on another day. That way, I can have the Fridays specifically for you guys. That and I love doing Dynasty Warriors at Empire's content. I love doing it more than Dynasty Warriors Nine. Honestly, this game is just. Like I said, I think this is possibly, I don't know, now that you guys have been putting me in this, I think I might actually put this up to number one, because this, Dynasty Warriors at Empires, even though I love Dynasty Warriors 4, Dynasty Warriors 4 is, oof, beauty, it's a beauty game, I love it so much, but you guys have been giving so much more potential for these games and everything, so I don't know, I'm thinking about uh, making this number one on my uh, favorites list, I might also do a video on that as well. My uh, top five favorite Dynasty Warriors. Maybe top ten, maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking about top five, though. Let me see. Let me know if you guys want to see that kind of video as well. I'm thinking about doing, like, a uh, down the line. The Dynasty Warriors one, I'll definitely do. If you guys want to see that. And then maybe something down the line, if you guys are up for it. My top five favorite childhood video games. That's something, too, I want to do. So let's try to cake this base, and then we will... Uh, We'll take out Agni over here. But yeah, after doing Tessera's backstory and everything, which, again, Realm of the Arcane, really cool backstory, and I did like how you kept to my lore and everything. That was actually really, really cool. 
And guys, that is 100% also acceptable. If you guys want to do your own lore, like uh, Kendall has done, which is really cool, then you can perfectly understandably do that, and we will, and I could still make it work. If you guys want to do it in my lore, that's perfectly okay as well. That's actually really cool if you guys go to my uh, go with my lore. But like I said, you guys can also do uh, your own lores as well, just like Kendall has done, which is perfectly, perfectly uh, encouraged. That's what I'm trying to do as well. Both are extremely encouraged. I don't like one more than the other. I want to see your guys' awesome creativity, so don't worry about all that. Trust me. It's going to be fine. I, I encourage either way. Oh, yeah. Let's do the rage. I was about to say, I should have it, right? You know, I am clapping some cheeks right now. Woo! All right, well. Oh, that was that was fun. Even with a big disadvantage, maybe it was the map as well being a factor, but Tessera just wrecked butt. This was on, uh, I think, either Hard or Chaos. I can't remember the difficulty I put it on. Usually I put it on Chaos or Hard. But, uh, yeah, so this was pretty much just to showcase what Tessera fought like and everything. So, guys, this is going to be a... R I can feel that this is going to be a really fun thing. And with the amount of characters that you guys have been giving, and obviously, let me say also real quick, you are more than welcome to give me more than one character as well. Uh, that's perfectly okay because this is even though we got a decent amount of characters already, I'll just pick put those second characters, like on the uh, we'll put them in like a later, like at a later uh, recordings and stuff. So before I start the actual official series of maybe doing an Empires mode with all of it, we can um, you could still more than welcome. There's no deadline for it whatsoever, and if we ever and if I ever do start the Empire series then there will be a season two for it if we keep getting more and more characters so like i said 100 percent acceptable if you guys want to give me more characters because i'll just put them in like a season two or something like that i don't know we'll see how it goes but uh also quick disclaimer as well so it did come to my attention and i was a fool because i did not mention this in a previous video or anything um so for those who have in my previous video i said that you could put this put your information for your character in the discussion tab for people, now it's still a perfectly understandable thing. You guys can still do that. That's perfectly fine. For mobile people, though, if you do this on the mobile app of YouTube, you may not be able to see that discussion tab there because I don't know. YouTube just likes to not put in certain things that they implemented on their main site for the PC. But uh, for that, for people who are on mobile, you can either get me on Facebook, which is in the is it, which is in the description, Twitter, which is in the description, or you can just put it in the comment section, and then I. Harna or Kawaii Toste will put uh, your character and it, their backstory on the discussion tab ourselves. So if you're a mobile person, if you're not, then just the, if you're if you're PC or laptop or something like that, you don't don't worry about this. If only if you're using mobile. So uh, yeah, so guys, this was Tessera. This is the beginning of Fan Lore Fridays. This is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. We're probably going to get a little more uh, information on the character behind the scenes as well, the one I'm voicing right now. So I hope you all are looking, feeling pretty hyped about this because I know I am. This has been a, this is a really cool idea, and I can't thank Run with the Arcane enough for the idea, and also Harna and Nikki and Kawaii Tolstaye for giving me uh, the encouragement to to actually do this. So, whew. so we're gonna end it right here, guys. So thank you all. Oh wait, no. If you enjoyed seeing Tester's backstory, be sure to smack the shit out of that like button. Just, just, just smack it. You don't even just click it. You smack it with the mouse. But, uh, yeah, so be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below as well. Uh, if you have a character, comment it down below or put it in the discussion tab on this channel. Um, and your thoughts on Fan Lore Friday as well. And trying to hit 500. Wait, wait, wait. Trying to hit 500 subs before summer. Guys, we are over 350 in less than three months. How? How? We started at like 240. Not, like I said, not even three months later. Not even like two and a half. Maybe around there. We'll say around two and a half. We are already... Oh, we already went over... It's crazy. That's all I could say. So yeah, 500 subs before summer. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that sub button. So with all that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching this. Can't wait to keep continuing this. And I'll see you all in the next Fan Law Friday. <laughs>